It's probably the hottest debate out there among all new print-on-demand store owners. Should you keep your online store general or niche specific. Choosing between both can be tough, which is why we're here to get to the bottom of it. Meet Jeff from POD Insights, who's a successful online merchant and fellow YouTuber, and Hannah Ebeling, a content creator who specializes in passive income and print on demand. I'm Talish from Printify, and it's time to decide whether you should keep your online store generic or specific. Okay, now Jeff, before we dive into whether or not you're in for the general store or the niche store, can you tell us a bit about your journey and how that led you uh, into creating a print-on-demand store for Etsy? Yeah, sure. So I started selling print-on-demand on Etsy in 2020, and at the time I was really just looking for an additional income stream. And I, what I found through just watching YouTube videos and doing some research online is that it seemed like print-on-demand was going to be a really good fit uh, for my interests, because I had always kind of been somebody that played around with Photoshop and creating designs and things, and it just seemed like print on demand was going to be a good fit to help build an additional income stream. But what really appealed to me about Etsy specifically uh, for print on demand to start my business was the existing traffic and being able to take advantage of that existing shopping platform with millions of customers already going there every month and just searching for things, you know, from the homepage of Etsy. And since then, I've really just realized that since then, a lot of people have questions about that whole process. So that's what led me to also start the POD Insights YouTube channel where we talk about selling print on demand on Etsy. Now, fair enough. Uh, Hannah, you spend a lot of time reporting on trending niches for new online entrepreneurs. Uh, when it comes to deciding between a general or a niche store, is this a question that you get asked a lot? Yeah, so this is definitely a question that I get asked a lot, and it's one that I do really like to talk about because this is actually what my introduction to print on demand was. I started with a niche that I had some knowledge in personally, and it was really able to help me find some traction immediately, find an audience who was interested in the same thing that I was. And so I think you hear a lot that, you know, print on demand, it's too saturated. There's just too many people. You can't make sales in it. But I think having a niche store is still really a way that you can kind of break into some more competitive niches and find an audience to connect with. Amazing. So I'm already starting to see the battle lines drawn between our two contributors. So it's time to get our gloves on and get off to the main event. All right. So, uh, Jeff, uh, let's start with that. General stores, what do you think? Well, one thing that I think is really appealing about starting a more general print-on-demand store on Etsy is if you don't have that idea in your mind, if you're more interested in, in the business aspect of it, if you're looking for an additional income stream and you think it's a great opportunity for you, uh, but you don't really know what to sell, if you don't know what designs you would like to create, if you don't have that sort of passion for a specific niche right out of the gate, with a general store, you can test different niches and you can find trending products until you find something that works for you. You could wind up selling in a hundred niches or four or five niches, whatever ends up working for you. It's very flexible and that's really what I think the appeal is of a more general store. If you come across a new niche idea or a sub niche, one thing that's great about a general store is you don't have to worry about whether it fits with your brand or with the niche that you started your store with. You just don't have to go through that thought process of does it fit? And if it doesn't, then I can't really entertain that new niche that might be a good selling opportunity uh, if, if, if it would seem out of place with your existing niche, your existing products. Having that general store really gives you that flexibility. And you can reach a broader audience with a general store because the more niches you sell in, the more keywords you're hitting in searches. Right. And so you're casting a wide net. You're, you're just going to be present in more search results across the platform with a general store. Those are certainly some really great points, Jeff. Um, I really agree with you on so many of those. One thing that I do love about having more of a niche specific store is sometimes I find that it's a lot easier to convert sales. So if someone does stumble across one of your listings, say it's for a funny nurse shirt is what they're looking for. And then they click on your shop and they see that you have political items, you have mom items, you have items for teachers. I find that they're not spending as much time kind of scrolling through your whole catalog of products, looking at all those things. But if they click on your store and it's a bunch of um, nursing shirts, you have a bunch of sub niches for nurses, you're a lot more likely to sell multiple items to the same person and to get some of that returning traffic. 
And another thing that I do really love about having more of a niche specific store is you're kind of able to create um, a following for yourself and bring some more direct traffic. So I think we're all really striving for that organic traffic. I love that Etsy has that for us but sometimes it's great to be able to give your items a little bit of a boost. So one thing that I did when I was first getting started is just create a little Instagram page that was really centered on one niche and kind of amass some followers from that who were interested in the niche that I was selling. I find that people are really interested in things that have to do with them. So if you present them something that is unique, that they're like, wow, I haven't seen this before, a whole store that just has my interest in it, they're really likely to follow you and take a look at your shop and come back. Right, so what I'm getting here is that general stores essentially are really good for testing products, especially if you're just starting out. You can try stuff in different niches. Problem is, when you're talking about customer retention, people who are only there for specific products don't often tend to come back, which is the advantage to niche stores, because if they know that your niche is, like you said, about nursing or teachers or any, 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 anything specific, you're likely to kind of maintain that audience, create a community out of it, and, uh, and build a relationship. So that makes sense. All right, on to the next round. So. Uh, Hannah, we'll let you start this uh, this round off. What do you think about niche stores and, and why they're better than general stores? You know, one of the reasons too that I really like niche stores is that sometimes it's a lot easier to rank in search results. So I think Etsy favors um, stores where they really know what audience you're going for. So a lot of times if someone is searching for something specific, those first results are going to be from shops that specialize in a lot of that same item. I also find that a lot of times in my niche specific stores, newer items are a lot easier to rank and sell much more quickly. So sometimes if you put something on a general store, it can kind of take a long time to find the right audience for it. But What's really nice about a niche store is your best selling items are helping all of your other items sell. So if you're getting traffic to this one item, they're coming to your shop and even if you just uploaded something yesterday, it's going to start getting views because your best selling item is kind of doing the brunt of that work. So that's just another reason I really think niche stores are kind of a cool way to add newer items and get a lot of traffic to those really quickly. Well, I can't disagree with the point that all of your products can help other products in your store sell because if they're all a similar theme, that's absolutely true. If a person is interested in one of your listings and then all of your other listings are within the same niche, they're likely to, to be interested to look at those too. So that's a very good point. I also wanna point out that positive customer reviews are something that's a positive benefit no matter what type of store you run. So, uh, but especially in a general store, you're still getting that benefit when you get five-star reviews from customers of course, it's helpful if the review came from the product that any given customer is looking at in that moment, but any positive review still builds trust with your stores. Definitely, I love that. So on the one hand, while niches do rank higher in search result pages, um, they do have a great benefit to them, which is that if you have a really good product, it's doing most of the work and you'll get those customers back. But that isn't what limits general stores because as long as you have those great reviews, like Jeff said, you know, people are gonna wanna come back. They're gonna wanna keep looking at, uh, at uh, what you have to offer. So yeah, no, excellent, excellent points. I'm still a bit undecided yet, so we're gonna take it to one more round. And uh, this time, Jeff, uh, we'll have you start off. So uh, how do you wanna close this out? How do you think you might convince me to choose a general store over a niche store? Well, there's just a couple things that I think make a general store the best option for somebody that's that's new to print on demand and specifically you know around the beginning stages if you don't have that that one thing that you think you're really passionate about that there's a lot of demand for and that is that with a general store there's still a great opportunity to be profitable early on simply because you can offer products where the demand is. If you can identify where there is demand and you're flexible to create designs and products for those niches where that demand lives, then you can build up uh, then you can build up a revenue stream pretty early on in your business rather than catering to only a smaller segment of the market. Um, and the other reason, the second reason that I think uh, I recommend more of a general store, especially for beginners, is the possibility of it not working out, sort of the risk that's involved. Right. It's easy to get pretty down, right? If, you, if you're not seeing sales within you know, your first couple of months, you can feel kind of discouraged by that. 
Uh, it's certainly something we get a lot of questions about, you know, on, on social media and on the YouTube channel. Um, but I think the benefit of a general store is you can change gears, you can go in new directions, and you don't have to start from scratch. So if you decide that you're going to give up on one of the niches you're creating designs in altogether and just stop making new listings for it, that's okay with a general store. You don't have to, you don't have to close your Etsy shop. You don't have to open a new one. You don't have to get rid of your social media accounts. You can keep all of the same accounts, the same Etsy store, and just go in a different direction and focus on a new niche. And I think just the possibility of that, I can keep moving forward. Uh, maybe that's a little bit of a safer space for somebody that's newer at it and needs to build up some experience. Those are some, yeah, really, really great points, Jeff. And I definitely agree with you when you're mentioning that Sometimes a general store, you really can start getting some traction, maybe a lot sooner than with a niche store. Um, but one thing that I do like about a niche store is if you do kind of invest that time to build up that audience who is coming to your store specifically for this item, I find that sometimes if you have an audience that is coming to your store for a specific type of product, you're going to be able to charge more of a premium price because this maybe is not something that they can get at a bunch of other stores. So regularly in my niche stores as opposed to my general stores, items that do well in a specific niche that I know I kind of have a unique take on, I charge like two or three dollars more than if I was just putting this in a general store. So if people like you, they like your shop and they're going to come back, you can charge for that experience with that brand awareness you're creating. So just another reason to think about maybe investing the time to kind of build up a unique niche audience. Excellent point. So yeah, I mean, with a niche, with a general store, you do have that flexibility and you do have that opportunity to get sales quick, which nobody talks about with niche stores because obviously you need, like, like you said, like you need time to build up that loyal customer base. Uh, but once you do build up that customer base, it can be like, it can help your branding. It can, it can re really kind of provide you with a really good foundation to succeed in the future. But just getting there, those first few months where you're not getting any sales and you're just trying to like build your, your traffic up and your, or especially your organic traffic up can feel like a really, really long time. Look, uh, I think, uh, I think the thing that we're talking about here is whatever level that you're at when you start uh, your print on demand store. I think that is really what's going to take you in a specific direction, whether or not you're specifically passionate about a niche or whether or not you just want to get your foot in the door and just start selling and learning the business. But I want to ask you, now that you've heard each other's points, um, have you managed to convince each other here yet? Hannah, what about you? I definitely think, Jeff, you presented so many great points about having a general store. And I really do think what you're saying about if you're a new seller and you don't know what you're interested in or you don't have that proven niche, a general store definitely could be the way to go and kind of test out the waters, see if there are kind of any best sellers that stand out to you after a few months. And then you definitely alongside that general store could start a niche specific store with that one specific niche that has been doing well for you. It's actually kind of the strategy that I've started implementing. Sometimes there's maybe a trending niche that just doesn't fit anywhere in your other stores that you have. So having a general store that you can kind of put some items in, it's never a bad idea. And if you're consistently uploading items, I don't think either one you can really go too wrong with, honestly. Well, I don't know, Jeff. I mean, you, Hannah sounds like she might be leaning more towards the general store here. What about you? You still feel like general store is where it's at or are, are you tempted to open a niche store of your own? Well, is it a is it a debate if it ends with us both agreeing? Because I love, this I, is the most <laughs> politest debate I've ever been in in my life. By the way, I love how respectful this is. But you know, a, a good shake of the hand is a is a good way to end the debate. But sorry to sorry yeah. to cut you off. <laughs> Basically, where I'm ending up is pretty much in the same place I think that Hannah is because mm -hmm. I believe that everybody comes from a slightly different place, right? When they start their print on demand business, and you need to take that into consideration when you're starting out. What what position are you coming from? Are you coming from the position of Maybe you have some entrepreneurial experience. Maybe you've had online businesses before and you know how to do research on niches or you're passionate about a specific niche. You might be in a pretty good position to start out with a, a niche specific store for all of the benefit uh, reasons that Hannah mentioned. But if you are newer to the entire process, I do think I still recommend starting out with a more general store. But I absolutely could see recommending going with a niche specific store as an add-on, as an additional opportunity uh, just, you know, from my own experience after doing it for, you know, almost three years, 
I feel comfortable that I'd be able to select a niche to open a niche specific store. Whereas that might have seemed a little bit daunting to me at the、mm. beginning because I just didn't know, you know, how to select a niche that was going to to generate sales or how to do proper branding, things like that. So I could see a couple of scenarios where it, it absolutely makes sense. Well, guys, thank you for polite、uh, for participating in the politest debate I've ever been in today. <laughs> This was really fun.、Uh, thank you so much for joining us, and I、uh, really appreciate your time. Thanks so Thanks much for, for having, having us. us. So, is there a definite answer for what works better for new online store owners? Well, kind of. Ultimately, if you know and love a niche that you're sure that you can make your own, go for it. There's loads of benefits to developing a niche that you can make profitable. But if you're unsure about who and what to sell, but want to get your store up and running, general stores provide a lot of opportunity to test ideas until you find something that works. Of course, one definite way to find ideas to keep your store profitable is to subscribe to Printify. Like this video if it helped you, and comment any questions you have down below. See you next time.